like Dr. Chi directly uh, mentioned, ticks, for instance, which is one of the ectoparasites, transmits quite a number of diseases that many of us are not familiar with. Top of the list is um, a malaria-like disease in dog called Babesia. And um, it will do you well to know that ticks are very difficult, very, very difficult to address. So let me go back to my long introduction. So we have different types of ectoparasites in dogs. We have the common ticks, we have the fleas, we have mites, and we have some that we call myases. Myases are larva maggots of flies. They are the uh, second stage of development of flies that penetrate into the skin of pets and they cause a lot of discomfort and they can, they can cause the skin to have infection because of their activities in the skin. Are we together? Are we really together? Okay, very well. So I'll take them one after the other. I'll talk about fleas, I'll talk about ticks, I'll talk about mites, and I'll talk about myasis, which is uh, the most common things we have. Why are we talking about them? This um, um, parasite can cause you not to bond with your dog. Imagine you see live worm, live maggot from dogs. It can be very discomforting, they can be very illsome, can be very, very disgusting when you see And oftentimes we've seen one single dog, one single animal, you would express not less than a hundred maggots from them. You can see also in one single dog, you would find over a hundred ticks on them. On one single dog, you can find over a hundred flea on them. So just imagine you have a dog that has sorry, you have um, ticks and fleas on them. You wouldn't want to touch that kind of dog. You wouldn't want to socialize with that kind of dog. You wouldn't want to play with that kind of dog. So um, I would talk about ticks now. Ticks are called a lot of English acarids. Um, there is an example. So not, let me assume most of us know it. But that common thing you pick from your dog, and the moment you bust it, blood comes out. That's ticks. Are we together? Are we together? Most of them are brown in, in color, and some of them are not brown. Some are black. So they have different types of, um, we have different types of ticks. I won't bore you with, um, with the English and the books. So ticks, like I said, transmit a lot of diseases. And it's important you know, too, that they don't only transmit disease to dog. The common Lyme disease